continuing on the dumpling plots. So don't overstuff your dumplings. And you know, you can use like ground pork. Pork gives it flavor. Um, ginger, onion, garlic, that's all good. A lot, and you want to do also use, if you'd like it, also a little bit of shrimp in there, because that's going to give it, you know, that little ocean flavor. But it's actually what else we make, want, wants me to make meatballs, not meatballs, uh, uh, raviolis. I bet we can make some bomb raviolis. And they're, again, it's not that, not that difficult. Got to take a little bit of time. And again, I guarantee you that these, these dumplings are going to be very, very good. Off the chain. And, you know, some, some of this baffles, baffles my mind. I know that, you know, Chinese, I, I love Chinese cooking. And I love Italian cooking. And there's just, there are a lot of similarities there. And there's some people that don't like Chinese food. Uh, and there's just so many similarities. I mean, that could, you know, that could totally be a, uh, a ravioli. But anyway, I digress. Food is fun, right? You want to have, especially if you're in L.A. or in San Francisco, is that, a little touch there. Um... If you're in LA or San Francisco, you have so many choices, different food styles. It's like, I mean, sometimes it could be a little overwhelming, but I like to float around different foods. I, I crave Persian, Mexican a lot, Korean, Korean barbecue. I don't know. If you mix up your food, Life is a lot more interesting. Some people don't even like food. They probably don't hang out with those people much. <laughs> but uh, it's okay, you know. Maybe they just haven't had good food. Or people, people say, you know, I spent so much time eating, I want to do other things. I get that, yeah. But when it's time to eat, get some good grub. Thank you.